you're going to meet some inspiring young athletes in today's show. And we're going to get you started with a rising volleyball prospect in California. And that's this week's five-star feature. She already has one national title, and she's not done with high school yet. 2026 prospect Laylee Ostevar of Modern Day High School is one of the rising stars in prep volleyball. She stands out because of her control. I think whenever the ball is coming to her, whether she's passing, serving, hitting the ball, she has such great control of where she wants that ball to go. I'm a very competitive person. Off the court, I thought it was something that I could really bring into volleyball. That's why I started. Every step she takes in a career is impressive, especially because when Laylee was born, it wasn't clear if she'd ever be able to walk at all. Laylee was born with bilateral club foot. It's a condition in which a baby's feet are rotated at an angle. We did not know what her future would hold. You know, we didn't know, as a mom, I didn't know if she would walk again. I didn't know what that would be like. Would she be in a wheelchair? So she had a cast on for the first couple months and then braces and special shoes. But by the time she was about a year, she started walking and really did just fine. Though she really doesn't remember having to wear braces as a baby. She knows it was something she and her parents had to deal with. She realized that not every child born with that condition will live a normal life like she's able to. That's why she volunteers for a charity called Hope Walks. I looked them up because I wanted to be a part of something that I could connect with. And so I found Hope Walks and it, it really connected to me because I was just like them. What they do is they help kids get treated in Africa and you make little braces for them and they wear them. And I feel really special to be a part of something where kids like that can go and accomplish their dreams like how I did. Today as a perfectly healthy teenager, Layla is proving to be a high level athlete. Her older sisters, twins Ava and Kayla, played a big role in getting her into volleyball. They have played volleyball together for almost every year since they were six or seven. So they are very close. I think that it's been really special. I think we've created a lot of memories as a family. Definitely, I look up to them so much. They're like my role models. And we don't really fight a lot either because I feel like a lot of people think that we would. And we also play on the same team together. So that just also brought us really close. While Laylee took to the sport pretty well, she really elevated her game to another level a few years ago when her coach pushed her to become a more well-rounded player. But when it came to my 15 season, my coach, he benched me because I didn't know how to pass and play defense. I wasn't a good backward player. And so I worked really hard to get my spot back. He taught me that it wasn't just about hitting and it was about passing too. And he also taught me to create more goals for myself because I can accomplish them. Laylee continued to work on her versatility by playing beach volleyball. And now her ability to help a team in multiple ways is her biggest strength. Beach, I feel like is harder because it's in the sand obviously, and you have to be able to do everything. I think that's part of the reason why I became such a good indoor player was because I practiced beach a lot. The casual fan will watch and be like, wow, she's such a good hitter. She's so impressive hitting. But from a coaching perspective, I think what impresses me even more is her passing. Her passing and her defense are just truly, truly elite. Her ability to place the ball absolutely anywhere she wants is very unique and special. While she still has one more year of high school to play, she knows where she wants to go to college as she's committed to play both beach and indoor volleyball for USC. Lately, staying on the West Coast will be a nice bonus for the Ostevar family. After her sisters conclude this season with Lately at Modern Day, they'll be playing college volleyball pretty close to home as well at UC Santa Barbara and Cal State Bakersfield. As for Lately, she already has a national title and a National Sophomore of the Year award, and there's no telling how many more steps she could take in her career. I think she can go in a lot of places. Obviously, kids' goals, a kid like Laylee, you know, her goal will be probably to try to make the Olympic team one day. I think she has the potential to do kind of what she wants. My long-term goal is to play pro and to try out for the national team and be on the national team. It would be amazing. I would, I would love to do that. I would feel really honored. I think the Laylee that everyone knows is the competitive Laylee, the one they see on the court. I think what they don't see is the humble side of Laylee and the giving and caring side. I think she takes pride, of course, in what she accomplishes, but she really never compares herself to anyone and doesn't like to be compared to anyone else. And she just accomplishes her own goals. But there's two sides of her. There's the volleyball side that the world sees, and then there's the Laylee we know and her friends know and her family knows. And that's the Laylee that everyone wants to be around.